What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. We are wiring this car. We've been wiring it I should say, but most important about this video man We're running a Holly system, right? And we already know Holly does not provide a harness for the t56 the manual transmission well bowler does These guys provide a sub harness that works with virtually any car um, I'm a big fan. We're running one in my Chevelle I don't remember if you guys saw that video from back in the day, but it's super simple. It's plug and play really for the most part. You have three connectors, right? This is basically what you're gonna get when you order it. Um, you gotta make sure you order the right one because there's a few versions of the T56 Magnum. So make sure you call them up and get the correct one. But check it out. You got three connectors, right? Along with this fuse guy here. You got one, two, three, right? And then you have a few wires are going to come off of here, but we're not even going to use all of those. So don't get, I can see you, I can see your eyes glossing over right now when I say wiring in wires, right? It's not that big of a deal, fellas. So get this, right? Before we do this, before we get into all that, because that's the simple stuff. Here, let's break it down real simple, right? Black is ground, right? That's it. Now, solid red is going to be key on ignition high. We'll put that over there. You're going to have two other red wires that have a brown stripe on them. So these are actually be the ones that you use for your reverse lights. So a lot of these guys out here run no reverse lights. And that's uh, this is another reason why I really like these because you'll have your reverse lights working. So you're going to on your reverse light system on pretty much all the old GM cars, guys, it's two wires that come off the harness and you'll have usually one green wire and the other one either will be pink or some other weird color. Um, you'll have basically the green wire. The green wire is the one that runs back to the actual reverse lights. So these are actually, it doesn't matter which one you use for that one or not, but it's, you can use either one. So we're going to use one of these for the green wire, right? And the other one, um, they want you guys to run this to an ignition hot. So basically, or it's always powered on when the car is on, correct? So basically what it does, when that thing senses in reverse, it closes the loop, right? It just closes the loop. Um, and in that case, on the factory wiring that we were talking about, the two, con two conductor connector, pink is probably going to be an ignition hot on that factory connector. On this G body, I don't remember if it's pink or not. We have to go look, but... Even for, for this purpose of this video, we're just going to go directly ignition hot so we know that that wire is correctly wired. Um, these two other purple ones, guys, these are speed outputs. So obviously, depending on what gauges you're running. So we're running the Holly gauges, the Terminator. Guess what? We're in luck. We don't even need these because Holly provides a GPS speedometer. Uh, and we don't need them. So those are going to be, one's going to be a 40 pulse. The other one's going to be, I want to say 16 pulse. And depending on what your gauge calls for, you can just use one or the other. And that's it guys. Three connectors. Let me show you guys real quick on what to expect in here. Let me show you super, super simple. Check it out. Plug in right there. You hook up that one bolt to hold the module in place. And then you're going to have this little cool zip tie. This little guy just, it actually crimps to the side of the tranny and it allows you to cable management everything. I'll show you here in a second on the tranny. Um, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, you're going to just throw a few zip ties on that thing. We'll do it underneath the car right now. But the best part about this that I really like and it's super um, user friendly is there's a mobile app. There's a mobile app you're going to want to download but you're gonna to wanna to do it once the car is driving and it's you're good to go, you're on the road because you can calibrate the speedometer on this thing. So you want the speed to match what the transmission says to what the GPS says. So we kinda of wanna make sure they match even though they're not talking to each other um, because of the reverse lockout. So let's say the reverse lockout switch, that's a totally spaced about that. Sorry, guys. Totally spaced about the reverse lockout. So the reverse lockout, you guys, really, really well, another reason why to buy this thing. So is that you don't grenade your transmission because what happens is the reverse usually, where is it, a, to the right, I think, on a T56 all the way far right past the fifth, past the fifth gear. And so you're, let's say you're going down the highway and you're at 80 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, whatever, and you want to go into fifth gear. 
You do not want to go into reverse. And that's the whole purpose of the reverse lockout. So you don't blow this thing up and then you blow in the rear end up and even cause an accident, whatever, even worst case. But um, it really basically doesn't allow you to go into reverse unless the car or the transmission senses that it's at five miles an hour or less. So it won't go into reverse. So it's technically locking out that reverse gear, right? The whole re point of the reverse lockout. So you want to make sure you got that hooked up because you can grenade that thing up. Another reason to buy this thing. But like I said, we want to pair that and then we want to calculate it. So we're going to get a reading on the actual car to see what it says as far as the Holly system goes. And then we'll open up the app and make sure it corresponds. If not, let's say the GPS says we're going 20 miles an hour, but this thing says we're going 30. So what we'll do is we'll adjust it on the Bluetooth app and we'll bring it down to 20 miles an hour so it matches. So we're actually going the correct speed and everything else like that. So very important to calibrate. But let's throw this on real quick and then I'll show you what's going on. We made it, we're underneath the transmission. I'm gonna show you how easy this really is, guys. This is real time. You know, you got the one here. This is the actually the lockout solenoid right here. If I can do this with one hand. Now, see, it's making myself look bad. Okay, just like that. We're gonna go up and over, and then we're gonna hook up that guy right there. That'd be the next guy. This should be your speed, I believe. This is this guy here. Hook that guy up there, just like that. And then this guy is gonna live Right there, we're gonna remove that bolt real quick. Meanwhile, once you tighten it up, it should look just like that. Don't over tighten it though, cause it's just plastic guys. So we'll move on to the other connector. All right, next up, we should have one more right here. Don't mind this guys, this is just my O2 sensor. But this guy right here that's hidden should be the last connector and it should be just this guy right there. This guy plugs into there. See if I can do this with one hand. Later that same evening. Make sure you guys use two hands. Okay, went ahead and just zip tied it just like that. It has a little ring inlet that you can just use off that little fuse. Do me a favor, guys. Whenever you guys are using zip ties, always use flush cuts, baby. You don't want to mess anybody's hands up. All we got left is that right there. We're gonna feed that up through the top up here. There's a hole up there where we got all our wires coming in. We'll feed that to the inside of the cab and then we'll show you how easy it is to hook this thing up. You guys can run now. <laughs> you guys don't have to keep watching. Guys, we are inside the car, man. Don't be scared, you guys. Don't be scared. It is an organized mess in here. Remember I told you guys we started the wiring? It is definitely um, far, far along. You guys can see what is going on in here. But organized mess, like I said. But let's get down to the transmission harness. We got it passing through here, through that um, firewall. This is, remember, what we talked about earlier. So remember I told you about the reverse lights. The reverse lights is probably gonna be the hardest thing you guys are gonna wanna figure out, obviously, right? So on the G body, uh, remember I told you I thought maybe it was pink, but it's not pink, it looks like it's blue. So on this particular model, you got the green. The green one still goes to back the actual tail lights in the back, or I should say the rear. And the blue connector right here, that's gonna be the ignition on. So another way to verify that, we can check continuity to make sure that's an ignition hot, like we, we need with the uh, red and brown wires, right? So each one of those red and brown wires will basically cut this off and connect one here and connect one there and call it good. But let me show you what, um, what I did just to kind of make sure that's the correct wire we need. So we need ignition hot, right? So we're gonna take our digital multimeter here. We're gonna insert that guy there to the blue pin there. And then we have it set to ohms. Make sure you guys set to ohms. Obviously we want to make sure to verify that that is going back to ignition. We're going to come to our fuse block over here. Don't mind the mess you guys. We're going to go directly into one of these ignition spots up here. This is ignition and we should hear a beep. Look at that. That's it. That's what we need. Continuity right there. So that is definitely ignition hot. So that's what we're going to use. So we'll use 
the two brown and red cables one will go here one will go there that'll send the signal to the rear reverse lights to tell them to turn on and then obviously you have ground power and then the two purples like i said we're not going to use the two purples just because we're running the holly stuff here is our terminator x setup we're gonna we kind of have it dressed up in here this will actually live in the what do you call it the glove box here but we're not gonna like i said we're gonna use the gps for that so if you guys need them you guys can definitely like i said just use them later if you guys want to for an additional uh speedometer or something like that or any kind of any signal you might be needing as an input but holly does offer like i said once again you can go directly into one of these wires here from holly as an input and then configure it inside the dash if you want to use that but like i said we're going to use the gps setup so we should be good there you don't need that so let me start running a couple of these wires kind of dress them up a little bit and you can kind of see where they got to go Just like that, you guys, um, that's all really you have to do. A few wires, uh, we went ahead and left it like that so you can kind of see what's going on. We'll probably end up dressing this up right here, finishing it up, getting it all zip tied out of the way, but we gotta finish up the wiring for the steering column. Purple wires and uh, yellow, we left them inside the wire loom for just any, any, ca any case we might need them down the road. But if you guys are not using the Holly with the GPS, you're gonna wanna go to one of the inputs off of here. This should be, should have a pigtail, eight connector pigtail like this from Holly. And then you can go into like, for example, this blue and white wire. I believe that's why we left this one out as well. Cause uh, this, uh, I believe the whites are inputs and the gray are outputs on the Holly stuff. So, but you're still gonna have to go into the settings and configure that. So if you guys don't wanna do that, but like I said, we're running the GPS, so we don't need that. But not to mention, do not forget to calibrate this thing once you guys are running and driving that way. Um, the solenoid and the lockout solenoid is working correctly for your reverse. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, we've still got some odds and ends to, like I said, kind of clean up here. But it's getting there. We're making some good progress. The wiring is definitely one of the most time consuming. So take your time. Um, triple check everything. But we are getting there. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this information is helpful to you guys. Put it down in the comments below. You guys see me? Can you guys see me? I'm Robocop over here. You like that, huh? Robocop? No, let me turn this thing off. But guys, do me a favor, man. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And hit the bell for notifications. And you guys already know. Stay wrenching.